So, hello everybody! How are you? So, and we want to welcome you to today's Feedback Friday. Wow! <laughs> so, we got a new logo. Um, it's amazing. We love it. And um, we have been searching for it for a long time. And then we haven't found anything, uh, you know, so we made it ourselves. Yes. So, let's blend it just again for everyone who hasn't seen it. So, everyone, welcome back to Feedback Friday, the series where you send us your works and we give you feedback on them. In, in, in 60 seconds. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So we'll dive right into it. And before, tell us how you are, where you're tuning in from today. And if you have a sketch waiting to be um, commented on by us or are you just watching today? Yeah. And if you're here just watching and you didn't submit any sketches for feedback that we're giving, you can still do that. Well, not for today's uh, feedback Friday, but for the next one. Uh, and you can do that via uh, Instagram or our Facebook group called Lionscapers. You're welcome to join. Yeah, just send us a DM or post it there and just say for Friday and we'll take a look. Yeah. Okay, so today we received a few sketches uh, and I'm quite excited to start Yeah. because I think they're pretty good. So the, the better they are, the bigger challenge we have. So, Gasper. Let's get into it. Yes. So today Sonia is on the comments and of course helping me, um, helping me do this thing here and um, I will be on the Photoshop. Mm -hmm. And I will be scribbling in your work. And first disclaimer, you know, please do not be offended if we uh, if we completely change your stuff. And um, yeah, I really admire your courage for sending us this, you know, for submitting your work to the whole internet to see. Mm -hmm. And you can gladly in the chat say, well, this is mine, um, etc., etc. Or you can just stay quiet if you want to keep it anonymous, which is totally fine as well. Yeah, okay, so uh, I, I, I can't re um, pronounce this name, but we already had, have uh, a first shout out from who this is. As someone in Cyrillic? Yeah. Yeah, you can write it in, in, uh, in Latin alphabet so we can read it out. Okay, Gasper, so do you have any suggestions for this one? Well, I, we have also a reference photo for this one. Mm hmm and reference photo is this, and the drawn thing is this. Mm -hmm. So basically the trees a bit have been referenced, but I think this is almost completely from imagination, which is completely fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm fine with that. I like several things about this one. So first I like the colors, I like the, you know, the gradient, how it goes from blue to yellow, mm -hmm. and this green here in between, I, I like this, you know, this here, this level, this is quite nice. Um, I also like how the sun basically reflects of the water down here. This is also quite cool. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of good things going on. I'd say. Is there a, a bird? Uh, I, it's it's a seagull on, on the on the water, because I I was I was just thinking, hey, it's is it swimming or what is it doing? Awesome. Yeah. Uh huh. Also, this is mine. What is your opinion? Um. Well, my first thought is that usually when the sun goes down, it's not like it's getting over the edge and then it's no light anymore. But usually if it's a bit up, it, get, it gives still a bit more light on mm -hmm. the surface that reflects the light. So right. I would probably do that and maybe I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't draw clouds in a way that they are just... They they are just spread all over the the yeah. sky, but the the clouds are very spontaneous. Yeah, they look too the, even. Yeah. So yeah, this is one thing. It's it's something that maybe I would just move them a bit. Yeah. Like in I would do them in in smaller groups, for example. That's something that I would do. Um, and this the seagull is huge. It's like, huge. It's very huge. Yeah. If you consider the yeah. the the composition, like if these are the same seagulls as that one, then yeah. that one is like, and it's further away. It looks yeah. big. I mean, we can see it's enjoying the view. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so let's do this. Yeah. Let's let's try to get the best out of it. All right. Um, I've got 30 seconds as usual, so I'll just oh, start. 30, okay. Oh, 60, sorry. <laughs> no, no, you said 30. No, 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 no. Okay, so first thing, okay. I'm like, I'm, I'm doing this clouds more, um, you know, it, just deleting this one is also making it more un, uneven, so I can like add a bit more of this one here. Mm -hmm. This is way better already. Then I think, you know, I, you did a great, great job on the reflections there. I think a bit more reflections could be. Mm -hmm. And I think the bottom clouds would like be um, would be more orange than pink, you know, because there is orange light still coming from the um, from the sun. So I would do them a bit more orange. There you go. So okay, now let's uh, let's make this seagull. I think it should have been. Oh, okay, I have to do it differently. Um, I think the seagull should have been. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll draw now how I think the seagull should have looked like. So, I think it would have been, you know, that big. You have quite quite a lot of smoothness. Yeah. Maybe if you smoothing, if you just uh, lower the smoothing, you're going to be a bit faster. Smoothing? What Sonia is talking about is my brush yeah. um, configuration. Yeah, this is good. I think, let's look at the difference. So this was before and this is after. You know, is it better? You be the judge of that. Yes. Okay. Let's move to the next one. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just like, mm -hmm, be the judge of that. Um, but uh, we try. We really try. In one minute, that's, that's the most you get in one minute, probably. Um, okay, wow, All right. interesting. Interesting, so mm -hmm. this is a sketch from Slovenia. Ah. Um, and I think it's somewhere near Maribor, uh -huh. okay. a, a town where my grandparents come from and um, my dad came from. So yeah, um, beautiful. This is a typical like landscape sketch, I would say, you know, quite analytical and everything. Um, you know, I think the person's studying at the same school we were studying at, so you can recognize a lot of the style, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, um, classical task for us to correct this one. What do you say? What, what do I say? If it's a classical way to correct it or...? <laughs> to the sketch, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, I would say uh, try to engage the edge a bit more. So I here it looks like um, the sketch is just mm. you know getting mm. to the to the ends of the paper, mm. but mm. maybe you can just especially because those lines, if you just emphasize the lines that are important for you, that are giving you structure and holding all the page together, um, that can yeah. Just you can memorize a bit more if you emphasize some of those lines. I must admit, so this is, you know, the actual position of the sketches. I, the, the frame you see is my artwork. So, ah, okay. Yeah, so I think it's something like this. Okay, I, the second thing I would say, uh, yeah. composition. 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 Yeah, the, the, the thing is like too central. Hmm. The, the church on the hill, you know, we always try to put it on the, you know, either... one In the golden rule, basically, you know, I mean golden rule, um, rule of thirds. You know, mm -hmm. if you, like, divide your thingy into vertical and horizontal thirds, you... Probably I said this many times, so... You should... Um, whoops. Point well, and point. Point at the beginning and point at the end. All right. So, let's say these are thirds, right? Let's be kind to myself and say these are nice thirds. And so, yeah, so you should put your focal element on one of these intersections, which will make it more harmonious. So I would shift it a bit, right? Mm -hmm. And you are also uh, uh, made herself present. Jiva, a very nice sketch. So yeah. keep on drawing. All right, so what I would do is basically, let's, in preparation, mm -hmm. let's shift this to one side to make it like more on the thirds. But what if you want to to emphasize the settlement, the connection between the church and the settlement? Yeah, yeah, that's So what... it depends what would you like to represent. So if you're a landscape architect, probably you're also interested in structures and the relationships between uh, objects. 
because we we are always searching for the the connections between those. So that's why Gashbar chose a view which also includes a church and the settlement below the hill or under the hill. Yeah, so um, you can already see I cropped it now, so it's more on the third. And yeah, let's let's just add some more details right yeah. now. Okay. Okay. One minute. One, three, two, one. Oh, just started. So I will put a little bit of, you know, you have to, if you have like an element like that, like a church or whatever, you want it to stand out more so you can do it either the darkest or the lightest spot. So you can um, basically, in this case, I just did the, the forest around more dark. Then this hill a bit is, is a bit lacking texture, structure, something. Yeah. I bet there yeah. are like some lines there. Yeah. I don't know. You have to maybe look at a bit at what else you could include also here if this is I don't know if this is a field or I don't know how the lines would go here but, but there is something there is something yeah. you can include so don't just leave it blank right yeah then I will do some more details up front here you yeah. know some more this um, basic texture yeah right? and what we we don't want you to fill the whole field with with those kind of details we just want you to emphasize what kind of usage of the space is it in this case it's it's an agricultural use of space um, and you can see that the the structures or the or the form the shapes of these small piles or humps um, came through the mechanical procedure that's being done on this kind of field and that's what you want to emphasize and you can also recognize it everywhere because on the whole world it's practically the same. So All okay, right. yeah. Okay, this is it. This is it. So let's do a quick after and before. So this was a before, and this is the afterward. Very nice. All right. So um, I would like to say hello once again to everyone who just joined. Uh, hi, how are you? I hope you're doing fine. Welcome to Feedback Friday. And I would also like to give a shout out to Ineke. Thank you for supporting us. You are amazing. Thanks for being our viewer and our supporter. We're very glad to have you. Thanks a lot. So for everyone, we're really, really great you did. You support us in this. And um, you, know, you can support us through the super chat by donating or you can just simply give a thumbs up to the video. This really, really helps to get out to more people and share. Yeah. This would be the most important thing I would say. Yeah. Share it with your friends, with your classmates, yeah. that you can, that they can actually send their stuff here to us, and we'll give them feedback um, every Friday. So yeah, yeah, share, spread the word. Share it with everyone who's constantly nagging that they would like to be more creative, but they uh, just don't find the energy and the creative motivation. We're sure we can motivate those. So yeah, they're always welcome to join. Yes. Okay, so next sketch. So we have another one from the same person. Uh -huh. And I okay. included two because it's a, there's a lesson to, for everyone to learn there because it's a quite good one. And this is like water. You mm -hmm. know, we were drawing water a while back in one of our live streams. Um, and I, I thought this is good. It looks like a lake, right? You know, mm -hmm. tell me, Jiva, if this is actually a lake. Um, but it looks as if it's a lake, and I think it would be of value to hear this comment. Based on the vegetation, I think it's a lake. Yeah. So, um, whenever you're drawing water, right, you usually want, you know, you're standing in front of water, and then th this is, it turns out to be this huge empty space mm -hmm. right in front of you. So, you have to consider water also in the composition, so, and it's a good idea not to just have the biggest element of your drawing the water so I would say maybe we, we need you know maybe we need to cover it up when we need more shore here and some trees you know maybe we need to continue this so the water is not so trans, trans central right what do you think yeah I would I would just probably frame it a bit differently I would just use some or add some lines for the shore which is now on the right side and maybe just put it or mm. just continue doing it yeah um yeah here i agree yeah okay let's try okay thir uh, 30 seconds all right now 60 okay let's go so first yeah i said i would you know expand the vegetation on this side you know sometimes you're like but there's no vegetation there well you know maybe first of all you can move 
<laughs> to have the... I'm not saying that this was this the case and nobody was nagging here that there was no digitation, but like sometimes I know our students say like, yeah, but you know, there is, but it isn't there. So you can move to pick your view, you know, you can just move mm -hmm. or you can make it up. The thing is that, and also you can leave some stuff away. If you see it's just too much and it's just crowded, you were, would like to focus on one particular element, but there is like a, you know, there are so many, I don't know, additional elements like commercials and um, and some sort of urban furniture that's not fitting in that environment. And people everywhere. You, you can reduce that because otherwise we're, you're going to be totally overwhelmed. And you can do the opposite thing as well. You can always just decide what would you like to emphasize. In this case, it's that view in the background. And the water, because it's such an empty space, is giving it a very nice contrast. Like it's that's why it's going in the that's that's why it becomes our focal point. So without before yeah. and afterwards, boom. And because Gaspar added those things, now you can really focus on that, that view. We narrowed it down. Yeah. So water is not too over present yes very nice Gaspar. i like it a lot thank you very much that's a lake in pirnica near maribor all right Jiva, well done it's a nice inset and yeah i very agree good. okay so what do we have next so this is a reference photo and the drawing is this uh -huh. okay all right so thoughts well again composition mm -hmm. uh we have this heavy architectural structure in the middle and I would like to break that uh, with with more organic lines. So I would like to position it differently first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then um, also right now, I'm not sure what's our main focus. Is it the fountain? So this water element, is it the architecture? Or is it this nicely blooming field in the foreground? Um, so we need to decide and try to do that first. So. I would do a classical approach, which would be that I would probably try to position architecture a bit below so that we have a bit more sky um, and try to create a nice composition. I would do a bit with... more sky? Yeah. Okay, so I'll prepare it a bit like that. So you would basically give it more space, right? Yeah. This is true, yeah. So what Sonia is talking about, when you have a horizon, you know, we talked about the rule of thirds before just real quick when you have a horizon um, it's a good idea to have it on the bottom third or on the top third right because um, this will make it more harmonious I mean of course you can do it it's like artistic freedom of course you can do it also on a um, on the half you know but it will just you know be aware that it will look a bit different so what I'm preparing here is um, like I will expand this sketch so the fountain is going to be more on the thir lower third intersection and um, yeah we have a bit more space what I really like are the flowers here I really actually like how the flowers are, are painted yeah I like that yeah. as well yeah okay I'll do my best it's gonna be it's a lot to draw here if I want to do this the way I just imagined oh sorry about that our Photoshop has been protesting recently and demanding uh, better treatment, I guess, because it's glitching all the time. But we do treat it nicely. It gets fed every day. It uh, will have had a good life. Who? Our Photoshop. Ah, yeah, it gets fed regularly, yeah. That's for sure. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, Let's do this. You have one minute again. I have one minuto. Uno minuto. Wait, let me get a bit, bit, bit of brush. Uno, doe, tre. Well, is someone here from Italy today? If you are joining from Italy, then please excuse our butchering of Italian. Um, we do speak like seven words Italian. Enough to say that uh, we don't speak Italian. But uh, I used to learn Italian a bit. So I speak it a little bit, and um, I would actually love to to pick it up again because I think it's a beautiful language. I really, really like Italian. So yes, 
Okay, so Sonia so just... It's very uh, temperamental, right? It has so much uh, energy, the language. Yeah. And also the style, the way they live it. It's also beautiful. The lifestyle in general. Yeah. It's very charming. Uh, when you're in Italy, you always get lost somehow in time and space. Uh, yeah, okay, what are you doing, Gaspar? So I'm not yet finished. Give me yeah. a couple more seconds. So I sure. want to expand this here. Mm -hmm. like maybe, that. maybe you can also frame it with a tree or... I don't know. Or not. Maybe it can be just like a very classical, you know, just like very easy. Um, there you go. Yeah. So yeah, I basically, this is really fastly done, but okay, okay. I think you will get the idea. So, mm -hmm. to the person who drawing this or who, who did this, let's look at it before. So before the composition is just focusing on this one point and it's a bit like central, you don't know why the house is cut up, um, cut, cut off. And this is afterwards, which basically gives as a context, we see the whole building, we see the fountain kind of on the lower third, on the lower left third. And I think it's a better composition. So if you draw this again, I would suggest, you know, consider positioning like that. And... Don't worry, you, you don't need to fill the whole piece of paper with your sketch. Let it breathe. It always needs a bit more space. White is very good when, when there's some white color left. So um, don't think about it that you need to fill the whole page with color and lines. Just uh, yeah, focus on the composition first and how think about uh, how will you just position everything in in that frame that you're painting or drawing on okay so the next one is an architecture the next one is an architecture sketch all right so I think let's just dive into this one do you have any have any um, comments comments well, I would probably um, add some sort of horizon line so that you would have the feeling that this architecture is not floating together with the environment in some sort of direction. Um, mm -hmm. True. Yeah. And I would also probably emphasize the the main edge, so the 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 most frontal mm -hmm. part of the facade mm -hmm. or or of the mm -hmm. building, mm -hmm. so that it really stands out. Mm -hmm. uh, from the background. Okay, let's try. Yeah, I mean, maybe, yeah, just uh, emphasizing the lines of the architecture will do the trick as well. Okay, so three, two, one, go. Go, go, go. Okay, so basically, um, you know, this is an architecture sketch, so you want to be focusing on your, on, on the building and everything, right? And that's why it's good also to eliminate unnecessary distractions. First, for example, let's frame it a bit. You know, like Sonia said, we need, you know, we need some horizon in sense of we need to have the background of this building darker. So the every all the trees and vegetation on the horizon, I would, you know, make darker. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, we have some more shading, like you suggested, like maybe like this. Yeah, this is nice. I think this gives it a bit that more depth. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was saying on Instagram, for those of you who has come here from Instagram, uh, let us know. Are all of you following us on Instagram? I'm, I'm interested because uh, on Instagram I said this will, um, today the most crucial one is depth. And we are going to be trying to um, correct depth in your drawings. One more thing, I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to I'm gonna be deleting those birds. Because they're a bit... Okay, one more thing. <laughs> I'll be deleting those birds and I'll be... Sorry, but I'll be deleting this mountaintop. What, you know why? Because it's unrealistic and it draws our eye to it because it's a bit... You know, it's too jagged. Yeah. When you're doing backgrounds for your architecture, of course it's not so important because you want to show your piece of architecture. But if they're unrealistic, they will draw the eye of the, of the viewer to them and it will be a bit weird. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that, I agree. So... Always think about what is your main thing, what are you trying to emphasize. Yeah, so this is before, 
and this is after the birds have been removed, the high speak as well, yeah, yeah, but the architecture yeah, has more focus yeah. and more depth. Yeah. And that doesn't mean it doesn't have any less atmosphere. Of course, maybe we had like a flock of birds, but maybe instead of 12, just add three. Yeah. You know, less is exactly. more. Exactly. Yeah, less is more. Okay. You know, your building architecture style is less is more, so... Yeah. Okay, so Anne said, no, I don't do Instagram, only Facebook. Yeah. Right. So, um, that's it. That's it. So, and do we already have the next example? Yeah, we do have an next example. This is a um, one <coughs> from a person that's already submitted several times, and I think um, she's also making progress mm -hmm. um, because she wants to draw, um, like, fashion drawings. Mm -hmm. And now, for this one, this is uh, the reference photo, and then this is drawing. So, I will have... <clears throat> I, I have a general suggestion for you. Better than, you know, going into your drawing and um, fixing or, you know, suggesting anything, I will now tell you a technique that will help you observe better and retrace yeah. what you see better. Yeah, and maybe we can do it like based on this one so we can yeah. always showcase your example photo and then decide that Kasper can, can draw uh, his suggestion. Okay, so let's try this out. So basically what you would do, when you're drawing anything that you, needs to be realistic, right? So in a human, it's very realistic. It needs to be really correct in order to feel right. Right, so there are several rules for drawing human figures, but if there is one thing that we can teach you that will help you, you know, even if you forget all those rules, and this is observation. So when you draw, try to first concentrate on the negative spaces, you know, as if I was drawing, just observing this, and I would try to draw this space here, look at that, and this space. And this is, you know, now I'm obviously drawing over it, but it would, it is also much easier to draw negative space than positive space. Mm -hmm. This is because it detaches our brain from the notion that, oh, I have to draw head, I have to draw hand, and then our brain starts drawing hands as if our brain remembers them, but not the way our eyes see them. Mm -hmm. So this is a good idea. So you go with negative spaces, and then you look at this shape here, and you see, ah, here it goes down, the shape of her hair. And actually it makes like a shape like this. Right, ah, and here's a little bit of her, her ear. So when you draw, try to think about negative spaces and then go, go through the elements and then look at this arm here. Look at this hand and don't even think about it as a hand. Do it as if you're observing an interesting landscape, right? Just retrace as exactly as you can the things that you see. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not going to go into the whole one, but now I just want to show you that already it's when you no know, this is it ideally would be drawn next to you know not over it you draw a piece of paper but you already would get like an outline and it would be much more realistic mm -hmm. yeah that's true and um, when doing this technique so this part um, of course we draw with intention to copy something like this like that kind of photo but still, we need to, while doing this technique, we need to detach ourselves from the details. And this is how we learn. This is how we, we need to look at it like a almost completely foreign object. Yeah, don't think of it. Don't think about when we're drawing something as a human person. Sometimes, you know, a good idea is even, you know what? You know what you do? This is an exercise we did a while ago. When you're retracing it, turn it on, turn it on its head. <laughs> Yeah, that's even better. This is great because it will turn it on its head because it will help your brain learn to detach um, from reality, not from reality, but from the this kind of um, looking at a person and it will just draw the forms. And I will give you, you know, I'm giving you a task now. Take a week and draw everything just on the head, upside down. Draw all the people upside down and then send us the next sketch. I'm pretty sure you will improve in that. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let us move on. Okay, artboard number eight. All right. 
Yes. Gotta step up our tempo here. Okay. Yeah. So artwork number eight. This is the reference photo. This is the sketch. And wow, I like this sketch. Yeah, I like it as well. Really good. Okay, so. Wow. Um, Very graphical. Suggestions? Hmm. Um, I would probably try to focus on the elements. Mm -hmm. I like the composition. Mm -hmm. um, I like the textures. Mm -hmm. What I would do is probably try to a bit, uh, just a bit to emphasize the, the elements in the foreground, which are right now, they tend to just blend between each other. Uh, but otherwise, I yeah. don't know. A bit more contrast in the yeah. Let's try it. What's, what's your suggestion? Do yeah. you also understand? I would like to do the rock dark and then the, mm -hmm. leave the wood light or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. A beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, I N said that's mine. So N, this is now for you. All right, N. So a bit of shading. Look at that. So you already started with the shading. Now I'm here, of course, with a, like a flat marker. Imagine, you know, this is digital, but this would be like uh, um, what I'm doing would be with a broad nib alcohol marker or something, or you can just hatch it out. But look at that. How this is immediately standing out more. Now, the, because the wood is so light, I would do the rock darker. It also, you know, kind of fits the rocks in the background, so... Um, and it will give a feeling of depth. Once again, depth, you know, the reoccurring topic and contrast. Mm -hmm. um, look at that. So, we suddenly we recognize the difference between this logs up front, uh, this rock, and the pile of wood in the back. Yeah, we got comments, the textures are beautiful. There you go. That's true. Very lovely sketch and beautiful. Yeah, everyone, yeah. isn't this an amazing sketch? Yeah. Awesome. I think it's very beautiful. Okay. Nice. Okay. Next one. Next one. This is the before and this is the after. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Fun stuff. Right. Oh. Okay. So what's this? All right. So this is a reference photo uh -huh. for a drawing um, or painting rather that we have lying underneath, and mm -hmm. this is this one. Boom. Yeah, I like it. Can you show it once again? The reference photo? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thoughts and ideas? Thoughts and ideas. Thoughts and ideas? Yeah. Um, uh, I would try to differentiate between the the three layers mm. and that's the foreground, the middle ground and the background. Depth again. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Because um, we want to know right now, maybe because of the watercolor technique, everything blends between each other um, and that's also very good that we have this possibility. But we want to have this difference and to know where we're standing is mm. the foreground with this, this field mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we do this field, which is looks like a potato field, uh, but probably it's not a potato, but they are like a uh, flower plant field or something, I don't know. Um, and then we have the middle uh, section or the middle plan, uh, the middle part with, with houses. The houses could also be a bit more uh, clear defined with the vegetation um, in the background. Yeah. All right. So, dear Pamela, you've improved a lot since you first started sending us this, sending us this stuff. So, um, You're congratulations. Me. Okay. Um, the first field I saw there in the first plan, I saw something uh, like a pole. I think I'll just go, right? Yeah. You you go. Yeah, I go. <laughs> you there, go, Gasper. You there go. was something here, so you can use that. I think. Is a as, a, what? as something to put in the foreground to have more depth. And then I remember there, you know, there are these there was also some grass, I think, in the foreground that was a bit higher. So look at that. This already gives us like a first layer of depth, mm -hmm. right? Uh, now we get a feeling that we're not looking from a bird's perspective. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, sorry. No, that's Continue. Good. So now we have we want to have this a bit lighter, right, Sonia? Or which layer do we want to do a bit lighter? 
or darker? The first layer darker? The first la darker and we leave the sec the, the middle one the way it is because it has many shades and tones. And the back layer? We can do dar darker again. We can do darker again. Okay, the clock has rang but I will still finish this because there is one more thing, one more thing that everyone can learn from. And this is um, windows, windows of houses, people. Windows and doors of houses. They are 95% in cases they are dark. They are not light, they are dark. Because there's the deepest shadow. And only in a special case, if a light is reflecting in the right way, you know, then it would reflect from those windows and everything. But apart from that, they will be dark. Can you also do just like a small dark line here under the roof? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that you had the feeling that the the rooftop has also some more when you when you what watercolor would be dry we, you would take a fine brush and do in these details yeah i'll say so but first let it dry yeah. so before you do yeah. something like this that's the good thing about watercolors yeah. but you, you can, can always add something pamela improve it and uh, post it i like to see this before and the after yeah okay nice okay thanks for sharing all right so pa pamela uh yeah, everyone is just um, shouting out to Pamela that di she did a really good job, and yeah. I agree. Okay, so another great piece of art from our Facebook community. Okay, so where is this? Can anyone tell me where this is located? This is a nice, probably, window. Um, view from the window and uh, looking down into this group of houses and you know what I like that you know how you found this pretty mundane view but turned it into a piece of art so yeah I really like that I like it as well yeah and that's why I also wanted to uh, to to give, it, give it our feedback because I think it also has a lot of potential yeah let's give it a little bit of contrast so people can see what we're doing yeah so what do you think Sonia so um, as a landscape architect uh, I would probably focus more on green than on the pavement and uh, asphalt and stuff like that. So what I notice in this sketch is that the asphalt is colored in with gray color and I would probably do the opposite thing. I would probably want it to, because there are a lot of buildings and right now, of course, there are some textures that are holding everything together. But what's more interesting than your parking place is usually the park. And you don't want to emphasize the, the parking place because you always want to have a balcony with a view on the park, right? So I would suggest that you focus on those kind of things. So what's the quality of the space? Even though it's like a mundane view like this, there's always something that attracts your attention. So focus on that. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's why I would say that if that would be possible to remove the gray here and maybe add it here so that, mm. that mm. you know, just with a few big brush strokes uh, in gray tone, if that would be possible. It's, let's try. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so, so I want a gray like this here. Huh? Okay. Okay. Let's try it. Okay. So you would do it something like this? Yeah. Okay, so more gray here and less gray on the other side. Like that. Here we will have to use white. Mm -hmm. And you can go then with gray even further. Sorry, no, I have to be pretty crude now with the, with the brush, so I'm deleting some of your nice textures. But I hope you can uh, forgive me. Do we know in uh, in between where this is uh, where this is from? Okay, I think it's it's uh, Shuhail said that's his and that probably Shah Alam Selangor. All right, Shah Alam Selangor. Yeah, always wanted to visit. And then you can also go maybe in between and just yeah. give it a bit of context. Yeah, I would do it with the even darker. Okay, yeah, tone. good. Because I think... Where am I now? 
I think, look at that. So now if you look, give the vegetation a little bit of more dark, look at that. Now it's getting, uh, it's, we can lead the eye through this drawing all the way to the back, through these small darker areas. You see that? So yeah, the vegetation, it's a good idea to pick and do vegetation, you know, where you draw, when you're sketching, black Malaysia. and white. This is in Malaysia. Malaysia? Yeah. Awesome. All right, so when you're sketching black and white, um, do the vegetation either the lightest element of your drawing or the darkest. Yeah. And in this case, it's very nice to leave, to make it darker because through that the objects, so the architectural pieces will just stand out. Look at that. Now we really, now these houses stand out. And um, yeah, let's look at the before and the after, see what we have done, the before and the after. You can also see yeah. that because of that, what we just did, this sketch is standing, the composition changed, right? Mm. It was not so focused and squeezed on the, on the left side, now it's more, it has like this diagonal composition, which is much nicer or easier to read. And we have here a few questions. Will Sonia ever draw on Feedback Fridays? <laughs> Will you? <laughs> Go, Sonia, said Pamela. Uh, yeah, I would like to see that too. Well, I can also say, say what's the reason behind it. I think Kasper is much faster. And I don't want to waste your quality, your precious time that you have. And... Um, I still think that I can give a lot of good uh, inputs when I'm doing this. But if you wish, for sure, I will do it. Um, but I think we're going to need more than 60 seconds per sketch. That's the main reason. Uh, Gaspar is just like some sort of machine doing it. He's just like... Ta -ta 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 -ta. Very, very fast. But no, let there be no mistake. Sonia is really amazing in also digital drawing. She just illustrated a whole book. She just finished illustrating a book for a client, so she did it all digitally. So yeah, I think definitely there will be a point. Yeah, but you know, I, I do it like I'm always preaching, do it for yourself, you need to enjoy it and stuff like that. And um, I like to push Gashper while doing those kind of things and I'm not sure if I would be very pleased if Gashper would do the same to me. <laughs> so. There's also this, you know, small psychological reason. <laughs> Um, okay. Anyways, if you're enjoying this anyway, in any way or form, and if you're getting value out of it, um, do give a video a thumbs up. Like it, share it, and like I said, tell your friends about it so they can send stuff as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, Sonia, nice. Mm -hmm. I like the colors. Mm -hmm. um, I think, I think it needs a little bit of yellow. Yeah. I will. I'm, I'm consulting my color wheel. Yeah. You know, I always consult my I have my color wheel actually here on the table. I don't know if you see it, but like I'm mean, looking always at the color wheel and go, yeah, we have this color. We have kind of, you know, we have the blue, kind of dark blue, and we have the orange, and then a little bit of like yellow would do it good, I think, right? Uh huh. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, Gasper, do do it. Okay, I'm just do it. Just do it. Let me get this. Right. Okay, so also we got a question. Guys, what difference between sketching and drawing are both the same meaning? Ah. Um, yeah, I mean, we tend to use both for the same thing. I noticed because I'm when we're talking... At me at least. I know that I do a lot of grammatical mistakes in a sense that drawing and it's like yeah i think it's not the same thing but we tend to do the mistake sometimes um sketch for me is something that's very easy very simple um that does not take so much time something that's more a tool than something more deeper while drawing for me is something that can be more detailed takes much more time um and yeah, what's what's for you the difference between sketching and drawing? So um yeah, like you said, sketch is more like a 
something that doesn't have to be finished, just more a thought in the, in the moment. Um, yeah. It's maybe something you prepare for your later detailed drawing. Then drawing is something out, made out of lines, yeah. I would say. And painting is something made out of surfaces, where you then paint, yeah. you know, like with watercolor or with oil colors. Yeah. So and that's how you would differentiate them. And also, we can also say that drawings can be more, you can think about drawings in more of in a sense of finished pieces, something that would, that you would present to someone in your portfolio or something. And sketch is more for you. It's like your research, mm. uh, your thought processes put on paper. Mm. Yeah, something that's very very intimate for you uh, that you can share or not, because based on that that you can develop your work. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Kasper. Okay, so just quick, what I did here, you know, let's look at the before and after. I think this is of value for everyone watching. Mm -hmm. So this is before and this is after. So I added a little bit more yellow. And now I'll show you just quick, mm -hmm. real quick here on the big camera why I did that. Um, it's because you see here the color scheme of the, the drawing, if you remember, was blue and orange, right? Complementary colors which look good together. And then if you want to emphasize something, you take a color that is neighboring to orange, like yellow here, for example, you know, and just put a little bit of it in there. Mm -hmm. And you can see we did this here. So just put a little bit of yellow in the middle yeah. of the orange and immediately stands out. And this is called the so-called beauty spot. Beauty spot. Yeah. And meanwhile, I see, Sonia, that um, we have to give another heart. Yes. We Thank need. you. Thank you, Anne. We appreciate it a lot. Uh, and I hope you do too, for at least it seems so, because you're supporting us. Yeah, thanks a lot. And you've been with us for a long time as well, So, like so many people here. And is anyone here for the first time? Like, tell me how many times, like, just say from the beginning, if you were here from the beginning, or just say you know, third, fourth time, or just say, just write one if it's your first time here, um, because I'm interested how many people are joining this uh, anew and how many people are, you know, coming back because um, this stuff is interesting. Oh, right, this is insanely good. Wow. Yeah. Wow, okay, this is very good. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's not even... Okay. Well, I we were discussing it in our chat. What should be, what can be improved, if anything, and uh, we were all just giving it compliments. And then I remembered that we can do one thing, mm. like a really small thing that yeah. would bring a lot of, uh, of, of yeah. How do you say weight yeah. or something? And this is the the line that would separate the sky and the ground. Yeah, so it needs it's it needs context. Right now yeah. it's floating yeah. in the nebula of uncertainty. Let's give it some let's give it some context so it can you know so it can sleep better. Um, yeah I will just I don't know what was the background so I will just make something up and we will see together if it helped or not. Alright so I just do let's say you know this looks like one of like an old Victorian tea house. What what is it? Like you can, I don't know who this is by. Do you know Sonia? Because you were discussing it. Um, if I remember correctly, it's from Eve. Or from Panada. I can I can check that very, very shortly. So look at that. So I just added a couple of lines. Basically, to give it a little bit of context, I don't know if there are any vegetation or something visible in the background. Maybe there will be houses, but, you know, it's just like not completely naked now. And one more thing, one more thing. Um, look, at, look at this um, roof. I think these last lines here would be, they are not, here they're drawn all parallel, but actually with the... Um, with perspective, they should be curving downward to the both sides of this this thing. So yeah, just a little bit of detail there. All right, um, let's look at the before and let's look at the after. So before, basically a little bit maybe out of context, and the after now at least I don't know what context it had. Maybe you know thinking about it right again. Maybe it should have like a tree here or something. 
um, but it has more context. Yeah, yeah true. More, that's that's more amazing. Life. Yeah. So we improvised here a bit because we didn't have any reference photo. Um, okay. All right. So beautiful color combination, a complementary color scheme of purple and yellow. There's some blue there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, of course we can focus on many aspects um, mm -hmm. of of this painting, but uh, maybe we can start with one. Here our community is talking about how many live streams did they all uh, see how till now on, or, or how many Feedback Fridays they, they've seen till now. So Do you have any first first time people? I think, yes. I think we have... Shabham is here for the first time. Welcome. Welcome. Um, otherwise, I think... Um, and ZZ101, he's also here for the first time. Wow, okay. So all the rest. And Daniel D, okay. So we have a few. Well, welcome, welcome to the community. I'm really glad that you're yeah. here and I hope you're getting value out of this. And yeah, uh, like I said, keep asking questions. We'll do our best to answer them. For sure, yeah. Yeah. We we're, we're keep trying. Yeah. To all of you who've been here for a long time as well, just you can go deeper with the questions, more detailed, and yeah, we do our best to help you. Okay, so yes. let's do this one. Let's do this one. So Shipwreck. Shipwreck. On a purple afternoon is the title of the artwork, I would say. Oh, we should title every... You know what we should do? We will title every of your artworks. But we've almost, we're almost done here. We just have two or three more. Let's go. Okay. So um, I, would, I would focus on... I would try to, to give it mm. like some spatial depth. Mm -hmm. You know? I, I noticed... What a surprise. The thing is that... <laughs> Of course, you can improve a lot of things. We can say, oh, let's work on the watercolor technique but or something else, but mm. our work, our pen that we're using is basically the best if we're just adding shadows and huge uh, surfaces of color. So mm. maybe don't focus on the technique, but on the things that we can improve right away. Yeah. Um, and this is the feeling of space. Mm -hmm. So you can see this boat is just leaned on the side. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you see mm. on the on the tip, ah. you don't have the feeling that's mm -hmm. it, that it's mm -hmm. leaning on the side. And also here from the side, you can see that something you have these patterns in the water, which are which are almost like circles. They should be ellipses. They should be ellipses. Or this, this you know. really, you know, always when you have uh, the waves in the water, consider the perspective. They're never circles. They're always ellipses, unless you're like standing above above. The place. Yeah. Also shadows, Sonia. The shadows. sun is yeah. coming from the back side yeah. and I think it should be like we it's need fun. shade and shadows. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. okay. You so, have it? You know what to do? No, wait. I know what to do, but like if I have it, that is another question. We need more time. We always need more time, right? But Sonia, give me more time. Yes. I know. We all need more time. Yeah, wait. So, ah. Wait, wait. I still need more time. Sonia is a harsh teacher. Harsh, harsh woman. Okay. Not that. Uh, then let me know when you're going to... Not say ready. harsh. Not harsh. Wrong word used. My English. Bad. It's, she's a strict and very efficient teacher. Okay. Okay. I'm done. But also very friendly and uh, understanding. So. Totally. Okay. Three, two, one, go. So look at this. Uh, first of all... It, the sun is coming from the back, so we need a shade here. We also need a shade here. Yeah. Oh. Right? So this is first, this is the shading, right? Mm -hmm. So the shading is the dark area on the object itself. Mm -hmm. Now to the shadow. Uh -huh. So the shadow is the shadow cast, the form cast, yes. by the object on the opposite side of the light source. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Okay, you don't agree? Do, you, do it, Gashper, just do it. <laughs> okay, and now let's see some more here. I would say we need some more light here. So I will just add a bit more light coming from here, mm -hmm. the back, so we have this reflection. And now these circles, like we said, actually, you know, they should be concentric, not, they should be like ellipses, right? Like this. Yeah. There we go. And this is the really fast. Can you add some shadow here, which is even, even darker? Even darker, yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. 
So it should be right. The sh oh. So okay, the shade is always darker than the shadow. Is this right? Can can is this? I'm shadow always shadow? confusing. Like right. No, the shadow is darker than the shade. Right and the left hand. You see, I said right and the left hand, which is not making any sense. But, no, well, but I have the same problem with the shade and the shadow. Let's not do this. This. So which one is actually darker? So we don't this one make this one darker because uh, because otherwise this is going just to okay combine with vegetation. I think okay. that's fine. Let's look at it. Yeah. So before um, the shipwreck on the you know purple afternoon and then the shipwreck on the purple afternoon with extra drama. Yes, that's that's right. All right, let's name this one. So this one is obviously named Batman. Yeah. <laughs> On Halloween. <laughs> yeah, like, this is Batman dressed as Joker. <laughs> um, okay, so... This how... Batman has a good sense of humor. So, okay. Suggestions? Mm. I, I also have some idea for shading again, <laughs> anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Whoa. <laughs> well, I didn't watch Joker, so I'm not sure if, you know, I don't have the reference, but, for example, this person looks here very old. Um, and this is also because... Maybe the, it's just a clown. Maybe it's not Joker. Maybe it's just a random clown. Maybe it's just a random old clown. But the thing is that he looks older because of the lines under the eye, the eyes are a bit, you know, draw, drawn downward, and also the eyebrow. Um, and usually we have here on the on the tips here on the beginning we have the thicker part or at least here ah, the eyebrow is yeah, yeah and then it goes slowly yeah, yeah. down mm -hmm. um, and for men that's usually even more present so the ladies we we have more of this arch and for the guys usually they have like a thicker part in front so uh, that's that's one thing that I would probably correct um, in a sense of like open his eye a bit or maybe try to define the lips so that you see where are his lips. Yeah, so I, I think I, this is, it's already a pretty good start, but yeah, let's see. Or maybe just, you know, work on the lines of the hair. There's also something to how to get this voluminous, yeah. nice falling hair. So first of all, let's try, let's do the the, the shading, the, the, right? Yeah, Gashkar. What? Will streams end after quarantine? Well, um, no. Is the short answer. Um, we definitely want to continue streaming after quarantine. You know why? Because we asked you if you like those streams and you said yes. And we were like, okay, we like them as well. So we said, okay, let's, let's continue. But we will actually think about the, um, the rhythm of the streams and the time and everything. Because we also want to give you now, when people are going to, you know, slowly get back to their, um, to work or maybe have, you know, whatever um, other stuff they need to do um, or can do, fortunately, again, um, maybe we want to give people also a chance to get more compressed information. Like this? No? You know, we have this line which is, which goes a bit more like this? that. Yeah, yeah. Like that? Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know... Like this? this? Yes, yes, that, that's what I meant. Are you sure? Or are you just like, yes, it's okay, Gashma? Yes, it's okay, because <laughs> we didn't discuss it before, and that's why it's even harder to to define it than okay. afterwards. Okay. Okay, so I did just a little bit of, 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 of things on the Joker. Let's see, let's see how he turns out. Sonia is totally laughing, but Sonia is already... Uh, Sonia can already draw faces and portrays, and I'm... Still quite a beginner. Well, but it's hard to, to correct something like this, like this kind of work, because um, I'm not sure what I should, you know, should I talk about color or about the, the technique okay, let's of look how at, to Let's look at the before. Please. And let's look at the after. Yeah. What? And it, I think it also, you can really see more this yeah. depth. Yeah, feeling. so I added the sh shade in yeah. the back of the face. Yeah. So yeah, what I was saying is um, we will definitely continue the live streams. We'll just think about when to do them because we also want to do some normal videos again. You know, we've done 31 live streams 
zero normal videos in the last two months and want to give you a chance to also get information in more compressed yeah. form. Yeah, so that you don't need to watch all the live stream just to get one information. Yeah. yeah, so this is what we consider doing. So maybe there will be like one or two live streams less per week. Instead of four, maybe there will be two or something. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have each week a video, um, a normal video with compressed information. So this is the plan right now, mm -hmm. but we haven't figured it out 100%. But you can tell us, how, how does this sound? Does this sound like a good idea to you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we want to produce so much that you can also just follow up. It's not like if you go on vacation and then you think, oh my God, now I missed four or even eight live streams and then I can't come back, mm. you know? Mm. Okay, so we have another one, a beautiful eye. Wow. Yeah, what would you say? What could we suggest improving with this eye? And it's like an eye... As if it was tattooed or it just had maybe some decoration in form of these planets. Oh, I got an idea. Yeah, you have an idea? I do. Well, okay, but yeah, you, t you tell me. Well, one thing. For example, if you... It, it's just maybe my perfectionalistical side. Um, but but if, if you do the eyebrow and the eye in such a nice detail, then... I would probably use the same amount of attention to define the the arch, you know, the ring of that planet. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, You know, so sure. that that would be a true ellipse or oval, mm -hmm. not like some sort of mixture of a circle and line. Mm -hmm. um, and also the stars. I mean, these are all like... I mm -hmm. would try then to put the same amount of attention yeah. to all the elements that yeah. I would draw. This is very true. When you do a drawing... Apply, you know, like do. I know you loved drawing this eye. I'm pretty sure you loved it and you enjoyed it. And then, you know, it feels as though like the the the, the planets were like half-heartedly added afterwards. Um, and I think you can take a little bit of more time to do it nicely. So let's see how what we can do. Or maybe maybe the form of the eye. Now I notice that the the eye is like it has like a hill in between. You see? Yeah, this should go away. Yeah. This this should be something that's more. Okay. We always have like this almond shape eye. Yeah. Let's see what I can do. Okay, may I start? Yes, you may start. Start. So okay. You may start right now. May start. So yeah, yeah, this is true. Okay, so Carlos said, "Yes, this sounds perfect." Pamela also agree. Less live streams once we get back to normal life. Definitely keep Feedback Friday and Creative Monday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, but would you also like to see some more of our talks? You know, we had like this really interesting Q&A about creative struggles and stuff like that. Would, would you be also interested in other topics? Like, uh, and we, for example, on Wednesdays, we, we did something which was connected with your, yeah, your skills. Um, are you interesting also in those kind of things or are you more focused on creativity and us giving you feedback? Okay, that's good. So, yeah, the ring, just fixing the ring. Oh, no, I didn't fix the ring at all. Boom. Okay, one last one last thing. Because there are stars everywhere, because their star is so nice, let, let, the, well, let the person have star-like reflection in their ah, eyes you know like yeah. as, as if not the light is coming just from a window but there's like stars oh reflecting. i thought you're gonna do a star in the eye but no no okay. this one like this you gave it a bit more shine okay. yeah a bit more shine mm -hmm. a bit more cute a bit more healthy <laughs> even more all right so okay. this is it so uh this is the before and this is the after Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Two last ones. Um, let's dive right into it. Okay. Now I love this piece. This is a very nice digital uh, drawing. And you know what I love about it? The color scheme is amazing. Mm -hmm. I really love the color scheme. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you should explain a bit more about the color scheme. Well. Okay. So sure. um, it is basically it is a kind of just neighboring colors you know we have green and then neighboring to that we have like a green yellow and then we have 
kind of RNG which is going into the red. So there are their neighboring colors on the color wheel. And there are the values are really nicely distributed. So I, I, I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, There's not you. even like what to say. I mean, okay, one thing that I would say um, is that human eyes always attract attention and are uh, very attractive. Mm -hmm. You know, we naturally look other people into the eyes. So I think this whole thing is beautiful, but what is missing are the eyes of the person um, in this, in this, uh, yeah, in this call, right? So that's what I would do. What do you think? I think that's fine. I think I agree. Okay, so now the question is just, can I get... <laughs> Will I be able? Just look at my eyes and then draw, draw it inside. Let me be your muse. So let's be all silent and just watch what Kashper is doing. <laughs> this is no pressure at all. That's always the worst, right? When someone is drawing and everyone is sitting behind him, looking over his shoulder and just Judging slow, uh, silently. But just judging <laughs> silently. <laughs> That's what we're thinking, right? It's not that they are judging, they are just observing and thinking to themselves. Look at mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how did I do? <laughs> the eyes are a bit too high, right? <laughs> not too high, but why they are, you know, I don't know. Like this. They are squinting. No, they are squinting, you know. they. It's look, it looks like it's almost just looking at the point of the nose. Well, yeah. Yeah, but you get the point, right? <laughs> the eyes are the most important. The, the eyes are the window to the soul. Yes, yes, that's what we wanted to emphasize. Look at that soulless being there yes. and look at it, how it came to life now. Now we can connect with this being. Yeah, it's in the car, it's driving, driving safely to the work environment. But beautiful job. Okay. okay, I have a final one. Oh, yes, the final one. The final one, which is boom. Oh, oh my God, gosh, this is amazing. We, we said we're going to do it. Come on. Come Can on. I do the clap? You know, sometimes we really like stuff and it's just like, okay, what can we correct? I mean, this is pretty amazing uh, painting. I like, it has the crudeness, but still it has the liveliness. Um, you know what I would do here? Storytelling. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It needs something of a story. You know, now it's like a very... It's folk. It has this nice mountains. It has nice weather. The prairie. But it doesn't have an element in the front. It doesn't have a reason to be there. It doesn't have an observer. Yeah. And you can do that in the form of a person, of a animal. Yeah. It's, it needs something like, you know. So what do we do here? What do we want to have here? Well, it looks pretty wild, so maybe I would do an animal. What What if we say it's like a, you know, let's pretend this is like a South American, um, what are what are they called? The, the, the this you know the, the grassland, where where the the llamas would naturally would naturally be. I don't know, but I can Google it. Life environment of a yama. Yeah, I, uh, you know what, I can't now. I, I need to read a few comments before we go. Yeah, do, do, do read comments. Okay, so, um, the, regarding our live stream, we have here um, a few suggestions. Definitely keep Friday and Creative Monday I love the live streams, and when I can't join, I look them back. And said, skill building and feedback are important to me. Samantha, my favorite live streams are the topic of, on Wednesdays, skills, and also enjoy the talks. Carlos said, all of them, which I agree, I would also like to keep all of them, uh, if that would mean that I can also... Beside that, create all additional videos for you. Yes, Louis said. And watercolors. Pamela, enjoy all the sessions, but feedbacks are very beneficial for improvement. So, Carlos said Pampa. Pampa, uh, thank you, Carlos. Pampa. The Pampa. Yeah, I, was, I was thinking it was something like a Pampa, yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, yeah. Um, I need. To, I think you need to to draw it a bit more dramatic. The yama. Yeah, the yama. Why? Uh, well, because it's in such a dramatical environment. You know, it needs to merge with the environment in 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 some way. Seems more shading. May, more shading, maybe just the nose part. You know, and the ears need to be a bit darker. Mm -hmm. Now I'm really just playing around here, people. Beautiful. You're playing very well. Maybe just emphasize the tail as well, you know, because it has always like... I don't know what... I don't, you, actually, you know what? I don't know what kind of tails Yamas have. I think the same as sheep. Do they? I think so. I think so. What is this for a technique? It looks like a... a an oil technique? Yeah, it looks like an oil something. It first I thought maybe it's it's pastel because it's also is the author among us and do you dare speak up? If you dare speak up, please just there you go. make a shout out because it's beautiful. All right, so I had my fun drawing that llama. <laughs> it looks at the mountains and thinking, "Oh, so now we have a story, um, and yeah, let's see, Beautiful. without the story, this is a nice landscape. Yeah. But, you know, we always say, give it the story, and now it has a... Now it has a story. Now it has a story, Beautiful. a dramatic, a dramatic character. All right. <laughs> Isidore is saying, it's Yeti. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So everyone... Great. Really, thanks, thanks a lot that you join us. Yeah. Tomorrow we are continuing um, with... Uh, looks like that color pencils have prevailed, right? Yeah, I think that color pencils with its lovely topic have prevailed. Yeah, so we're going to look at the art material color pencils. I know you have color pencils at home somewhere, so I'm pretty sure you can tag along. And for the first time, maybe you already know it, but maybe you haven't really delved into actual techniques on how to do color pencils. And Monday, the next Creative Monday awaits, which I'm looking forward to again as well. So thanks a lot for joining. Be sure to share this um, channel with your friends, especially, you know, your classmates or everyone who may profit, profit from um, our feedback, you know, if they're actually studying in one of these directions or want to go into art or creative path or with, you know, family members or anyone else who just enjoys doing creative stuff. Yeah. Give us a thumb, thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Join our Facebook group. Yeah. Join our community.